All right, greetings, family. We're live on Revolutionary Cam. This is Bomani Tamba, and we're here at Bomani Technology, and I'm here with my good brother. We just came back on the Ghana May 2019 Journey of a Lifetime. My brother Harold, how are you? I'm doing fine. All right, uh, just want you to give a full introduction of yourself, and then one of us talk with you about your experience in Ghana and you know, and your recommendations. Okay. My name is Harold Roberts, and I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, I'm the truth seeker, the original truth seeker on Facebook, and I'm here to tell you about this wonderful tour that I took with Bomani Travels. It's a tour that is spiritual. It's a tour where you can fix the damage that America has done to your spirit. Going to Africa opens your spirit up, allows you to be who you are. Bomani Tours allowed me to go to Africa and experience a lot of wonderful things that happened while I was over there. The wonderful thing that happened when I was over there is that I had an experience that was unbelievable, an experience that there are no words in the dictionary to describe it. I have to say, I have to say thank you to Mr. Bomani for allowing me to know who I really am, to allow me to go to Africa and kill the lies that we are usually told in America, lies like Africans don't like us. This is not true. Africans like us. It's not poverty everywhere. It's not diseases everywhere. It's nice cities with a lot of nice people who really do want us in Africa. They want us there. They want us there because they want our skills. We have the skills to fix Africa. We have the skills to fix the world. But we have to work, wake up, my fellow Hebrew brothers and sisters. Wake up and understand your true value. Wake up and understand that you are a hundred times more valuable than you think you are, and you also have the way to control the world. You have the way to kill the beast. You just don't know it. And some of you don't want to use it. You kill the beast. You strike him where it hurts the most. Leave America. Leave America and go home. This is not your home. This is where you live. That's why you are called African Americans. You live here, you do not belong here. Let Bomani Tours help you to reach this path, find out who you are, and understand there are opportunities everywhere in Africa. If you could think of something, you could become a millionaire in Africa. Everything is there waiting for you. You want your reparation from these white folks in America? Well, let me share something with you. They're not going to give it to you. <laughs> They're not going to give it to you. You just broke a bunch of people's heart. <laughs> they, they will give it to the Japanese. They will give it to the Indians. They will give it to the Jews, the people who they are still giving millions of dollars to. But your Mitch McConnell, reparation, he said, no. We already gave you reparation. We fought the Civil War. No, they fought the Civil War, okay? It was them that fought the Civil War because of their greed. One group was greedy and the other one didn't want them to have the money. We were commodities. We never were people. We are not Americans. They move into our community and push us out and take stuff from us anytime they want to. Understand, every time you pay taxes on any item, 
or pay taxes for your job, you paying them to kill our own people. You pay the police department. Go home. Discover who you are. Go with Bomani's tours. His tour is all black. No white people. You get a black experience. You That's go to good. black businesses. You touch bases with other African Americans. And they are doing very well over there. And you also get the opportunity to see the beautiful beach and look back this way and tell, think or tell America what, how you really feel. Stop paying taxes for toilet paper, taxes for gas, taxes for candy. You just feed this beast and continuing to allow him to destroy our people and feed lies of them. Hey! Come to Truth Seeker page, and I'll give you the rest of it. Bomani's tour, great opportunity. Love it. Everybody that can do it should do it. He's a great young man who does a great job. So I could tell you a lot of other things, but that is probably the best way that I could describe his tours. It was very relaxing. We went to a lot of nice places. One of the places that I enjoyed was One Africa. I thought it was really, it was down to the basics. It was a situation where anybody, if they went that way, could afford to do it. And not only could you afford to do it, you could live a better lifestyle. Fresh water, fresh food every day. No white people running things. <laughs> there you go, that's what's up. <laughs> How would you like to see that? White people are not running things. Don't you want to see that? That was fun to watch. <laughs> I like that a lot. A beautiful brother. I appreciate your elaboration on your experience and I thank you for just being a good brother and you know um, I always say that the people that I love the most is the ones who come on the journey and they just like just go all out and just enjoy the experience as much as possible because what we are offering our family on a journey of a lifetime on our May and December journeys to Ghana is an incredible experience that we have mapped out where it's just a full itinerary and it's you know where you're introduced to so many things but you know, in order to get your blessings you have to just be open and just enjoy the experience uh you know we'll put the best of what we have done over the last 12 uh 13 years uh right in front of you and every time we do another tour it gets better and better as we just adjust and organize and try to create an experience that we as the people that deserve you know, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, we see things that are made for this race, this uh, nation of people, but then you know, you wonder what about us? So our reconnection to the ancestral land is important. So this, uh, and, and you know, it, it, it's a journey that takes you up and down. You know, especially like when you're in the Holocaust dungeons. You know, it's it's like you're there of where your ancestors were stolen and housed as you know, as you know, as storage. And you just you're there in that experience, and so you know, so you're going through that emotions, you're going through adventures, you're going through business and investment, and it's probably a lot to process. So I'm asking you, uh, with all of that, um, how have you been able to process everything since you've been back for the last uh, few weeks? Well, uh, it really sucks to be back <laughs> to the United States of hate. Mitch McConnell showed you that just recently. Okay. Um, it's just the richness that I miss. I mean, when I came back, I brought Africa with me. I didn't leave it there. I brought back all the African items that people might like to buy. Not only did I bring back all the African items that people like to buy, I also brought back information people who are really serious about stop investing in your money with that white man invest some money in the black star credit 
Union. That's our credit union on the continent of Africa. $20 a share, 11% return. No bank in America or the world is going to give you that. When I tell you this, you ought to be grabbing all your money and just running to give it to them. Because <laughs> it's like Apple from the beginning. It's like Google from the beginning. Most of us missed out on that because we was being knuckleheads and wasn't paying attention. So I'm telling you right now, don't do that again. Pay attention to what I'm telling you. Go get your money. Find out where the Black Star Credit Union is or how to contact them. You can contact them also through me and you can contact them also through Bomani Travels. So don't complain about what you can't get and what you can't have. If you're doing that, you're just complaining because you just want to hear yourself complain. Opportunity is right in front of your face. Absolutely. If it was any closer, it would smack you dead in the eye. Here it is. I'm giving it to you. What are you going to do? You going to keep being the same way? Or you going to step up and do what you need to do? Yeah, perfect. And, and uh, with that, uh, that experience, and the journey of a lifetime have brought you to where you're looking to reconnect and move to the ancestral land. Oh, reconnect. You're looking to get away yes, from America, you're yes. looking to escape, you're looking to live and do business well, in, yes. in Africa. I'm, I'm doing business. And that's probably, you probably made a decision before you traveled there, but uh, going to Ghana, did that reconfirm your decision? Going to Ghana enhanced the decisions that I, that, that I had on my mind. I come back, and the reason why I say I brought Africa with me, I brought back all kind of African wear to sell yeah, right I here. Love that. I love that bag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, get it I have more view. of these <laughs> bags. Okay. These are beautiful leather made bags. I sell everything original. There are no Jap no Japanese or Chinese copies. <laughs> this is original African items yeah purses because yeah, you know folks are, are like they like the, the asians are like the masters of knockoffs you know what i'm saying well this uh there's this no knockoff authentic, here this genuine, is authentic authentic genuine people and this is what you can get you can bring this stuff back and you can run a business if you want to yeah that's, that's what the, i'm doing yeah that's one of the best uh, opportunities our families are is uh the, the high level of import export so I'm always trying to, you know, connect people and I let both parties know we got to play nice. You know? So, you know, when we connect people, you know, people got to follow through with the, the money and the, the, the products and everything and just, you know, be organized. But uh, that's another thing we're just looking to push to a higher level uh, to where we can just re do more business with each other across the globe. You know, because, you know, one thing about us as a people, we're everywhere. I've been to six continents and I see people look like myself everywhere. Well, I just want to say it's easier to get in touch with the vendors in Africa than it is the vendors in China. In China, you ever try to people? You can't do it. They're not going to let you know. Uh, yeah, and we, we need to really just build the, the, the made in Africa or, you know, or manufactured in Africa brand at a higher level. And, you know, so many things are made. But like I always talk about is the, you know, the high level of those knockoffs. You know what I mean? It's like... You know, you'll see a group of Asians there in Ghana, and you'll see, you know, and up to no good, as usual, you know. You know people may think that they're just they're playing around as tourists, but they're, you know, they're trying to copy what's going on as far as the craft and everything and duplicate it. And that's why you see so many of this fake stuff come, all over the place. They don't come to buy if you notice. <laughs> the, the, the Japanese and the Europeans and all them people there come to look, but you don't see them buying the African items. They come to see how they can steal an idea and take it back and make a lot of money where they from. There you go. And that's what I see too. So it's so perfect. Uh, so uh, you had all of these wonderful <laughs> journeys there in Ghana. And, um, um, you know, you called me when, you, um, when I came back, um, you know, after I spent an extra week there in Ghana on the ground. And, uh, you, you know, you just used us talking about it. it was one of your best experiences and everything. And just you know, share with us um, what you shared with me on the phone as far as uh, what you felt when you came back. Well, 
when I came back, I feel like I wanted to be right back over there. You know, a lot of people in our group uh, that went on the tour uh, with us, uh, they're going back to live permanently. I'm thinking about going back to live permanently myself uh, because, you know, we, we do well over there. Uh, you get a ratio of five Ghanaian dollars to every American dollar. Uh, that's a better quality of life that you can have. Ask yourself, do you want to have a better quality of life? Or do you want to stay here in America, they give you a little bit of money, and you're barely living over the poverty line? That's serious. And it's one of those options where what we do is do our best to present the Journey of a Lifetime opportunity, and it includes business investment conference, um, community development opportunities, all kind of different things that you can process uh, in a 10-day itinerary. And um, you know, once you do that, you just you know, we have to just realistically just think about you know, just being here in the plantation and, and, and the scene that we have worked so hard as a people and what have we, you know, what are we getting out of this? And, you know, so during Ghana and different African countries, we can invest in the future of ourselves. Well, the reason why we need to spend our money on ourselves is because when we spend our money on ourselves, they don't get to make any money, okay? So if they don't get to make any money, that equates to killing the beast. You striking where it hurt the most, and that's his money. Yeah, economic timing. He don't want to treat us right while we keep giving, us, giving him our money. Ask yourself that question. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, then the same thing I ask people, and I know some people that, and, you know, and, you know, we have conversations about where they have travel, and they have, like, they've been all over Europe. You know, they, 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 they break it down about going on the trains, planes, automobiles, and moving around. And, uh, you, know, uh, you know, and when you present Africa to them, they just think it's, it's like this dark cloud. And the, th the thing of it is, when people don't do their proper research, then their mind is confused with what they see on TV. Uh, but uh, I've been to Ghana 16 times, and that's been out of the 20 best times of my life. Yeah, that's uh, that's a part of that uh, incredible experience. But uh, for yourself, who have been there and literally have experienced it for yourself, what is your recommendation to people who have questions about safety, security? Are you gonna have fun? Is there things to do about uh, traveling to um, an African country? And in this case, I uh, was talking about Ghana. Well. Uh I found Ghana to be much, much safer than the United States. No drive-by shooting. <laughs> Nobody shooting your house up. <laughs> Nobody trying to knock you upside the head. I had a real safe and peaceful time. I walked down the street. I caught cabs. I went places and I done things that other people didn't do in the group. So my experience was much more enhanced and everybody around me, I feel safe. So it's a very safe place. The food is safe. The people are safe. And you'll be safe. Absolutely, family. And one thing about what we put together as far as the Journey for Lifetime is literally an organized tour options where we have a full staff, a brand new bus, uh, you know, a, a crew on that bus. Uh, and all the hotels are places that we've been to over and over where Everybody knows us, so, you know, it's, and then we have a business conference where you get to meet so many different people and then learn about all the basics as far as repatriation, investment, and moving around Ghana and everything. Uh, so it's an incredible network of opportunities. So if you're thinking about moving and making a move, you know, what we have is just everything organized from the tourists to investment, and the biggest investment we have is our own community, which we are building with uh, the Garvey Town Company. Uh, to build uh, our Garvey Town repatriation, our energy. Uh, so that's all together organized. So uh, we do tours twice a year, every uh, May and December. So you just experiencing that 10 day journey will get you connected to where you know, you'll, be, you'll feel more comfortable just coming to the country, connecting with the people that we connect you with, doing your business and getting things set up. 
So family, you can visit our website, uh, africafortheafricans.org and um, email me or send me a message and um, we'll get you started. Um, all the details for both uh, the tours in Garvey Town right there on the website. So let's click on the relative link and the details open up and uh, don't be afraid to read information because the biggest thing we need people to do is be clear on the journey of a lifetime, be clear on the experience that we put together in front of you. This is not a five-star accommodation and you know, I mean, in, in, in some situations you have some real nice hotels but in some situations you have, you know, you have what, it, what it is, you have a nice uh, reasonable hotel where we can all be comfortable and things like that. So open your mind to the experience and and if we just gave you five star hotels at every every hotel, that's not you, you know, you're not experiencing anything. So the itinerary is set up to where it gives you maximum exposure to just having the best time. Uh, you know, like even that first neighborhood that we was in East Lagon, I'm not sure if you got a chance to walk around the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's one of my favorite neighborhoods. I mean when you walk around the neighborhood, you just see so much facets of life. Banking, business, investments. You see uh, people who have different nationalities that's come to build a business enterprise and so on. And, 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 and over and over. But uh, it does sh and I'll show you a nice neighborhood where you can literally... A beautiful neighborhood. Literally. Beautiful. Yeah. A lot more yeah. beautiful than the stuff we got in the United States. Yeah. Uh, the just Africans right there. are much more creative. They don't do cookie cutter houses. They got creativity. They put color in their in their uh, designs. Their designs are not all square. So they take the time to be creative in what they build in Africa. Africa is, has some very very beautiful real estate. Very beautiful yes, apartments, condos, yeah. and Serious. houses. Houses are like the ones in Malibu, the mansions. It's our people got those over there. I've seen the mansions with my own eyes. And that's what I'm saying about the neighbor this <laughs> gone when we first get into Ghana with us. We put you at the Micklin Hotel, this an incredible uh, hotel and then we, even when we go to Kamasi, another Micklin brand and we just just you know that that, that right there is your business uh lodging. And then we go to One Africa or the Carrick Hotel. Carrick Hotel is a brand new hotel. One Africa is actually on the beach. Uh, and, you know, so it's like, you know, we tell people that you may have to, you have to choose between one. You want to be on the beach or you want to be at a brand new hotel. Uh, we have all of these amenities and everything. So, but once you select, you just got to deal with, you know, whatever the situa situation is. So, we build a, an experience to where you can just really feel the ins and outs of Ghana. And then once the tour is over, and if you want to stay longer, now you can just enjoy the experience as far as being there. Now you'll see how, you know, you'll see things a little bit different now. Because now when you're trying to get a cab, you're trying to make your way around. You understand that, you know, you don't speak the local language. And, you know, maybe you get upcharged a little bit and things like that. But, you know, it's a part of that, that experience also. When you're looking to come, then uh, live and so on. That's another level of experience. So what we built for you, family, is an incredible foundation. And my brother right here has been one of the best energy, just taking advantage of all the opportunities to the point where he was like, Bomani, uh, my family coming down here to Georgia in the Atlanta area, and uh, they're coming to do certain things, but I'm coming to come, come see you. And I was like, appreciate it, brother. So he's been here. We've been talking about a lot of different things about investment, and I, I like that thing you talk about, you know, the diamond cutting and, you know, talking about precious stones and all kind of things. Because we also have to open up ourselves to a higher level of investments. I'm sorry I didn't mention that I'm the <laughs> only black diamond cut on the East Coast. Uh, I'm sorry, America. You guys just don't move fast enough for me. I'm going to Africa and cut diamonds. You can come and visit me, okay? That's what's up. So, my brother, appreciate energy. But, uh, one thing I want to ask you, uh, do you have any last uh, recommendations um, for our people uh, to, to travel to Africa or do any level of investments? First thing, is it? It's not as complicated as you think to plan, get your passport, get your visa. It's not as difficult as you think to get your shots that you need when you go over there. And it's not difficult to go to the airport, fly into wherever your connecting flight is, get your connecting flight, Go to your next point, 
which probably will be Amsterdam, and then you'll fly right into Accra in Ghana. It's really very easy, easy, excuse me. Uh, customs is a little slow, but it's all doable. <laughs> it's all so, doable. All doable. So nothing, nothing was uh, hard to where you just felt like you just couldn't survive. No, 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 no. <laughs> it, it was. It was, it was really a all luxury, doable. right? You know, you was on a luxury, uh, a brand new uh, air conditioned bus with TVs and everything. Oh yeah, we had we had a nice bus with yeah. TV. I love the comfort. All the time, the staff was great. The driver was great. I mean, you 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 almost can't ask for more than what Bomani has offered you. The tour was worth all the money that I spent and probably even more because it wasn't the money that was important that I spent. It was the experience oh, of a journey of a lifetime. So with that, uh, what, what, what can people complain about? Uh, personally, uh, you fully explain uh, what the tour is like and actually you don't have any complaints. He provides if you need a different hotel, he see that you get it. Uh, he lets you know that some accommodations might not be as good as others. He's done a very good job, so you can't come on the tour and say, he didn't tell me this and he didn't tell me that, because I know he did. Absolutely, and family, remember, everything that's set up on the journey is a science to your experience. That's it. Yeah, you know, so you know, so everything is said that you know, so everything that we have is nice and comfortable as possible, you know, but if you're you know, if you're a little up to uppity and things like that, you know, you know and that's what I tell people, just be clear on what journey you're going on. All the hotels are listed, everything is there, uh, all the information is there, but we want the right people to connect so we can work together and build a future. This tour is not about just people that's coming to Africa and, and then go back to America. It's about us building a future. You know, we have Garvey Town set up to build our community. We understand that everybody's gonna gonna wanna build into that community, but as far as you know, not everybody's gonna repatriate. But at the same time too our goal is to just provide maximum exposure. So we want people to be as positive as possible and everything and be focused on what it is. It tells you what the tour is about. Ghana repatriation and investment tours. As it's so a tours repatriation investments. It's right there in the title. And uh, you know, so uh, family, um, we have done as best as we can, and I don't know anyone else that can do what we have done over uh, 12 plus years, and so on. Now, uh, but uh, if you have any questions, just reach out to me, talk with me, and I just want to make sure that everybody is clear and comfortable. But this is a situation where you have so many other black people that you're gonna meet and connect with, and you can build with. Like you've met like several friends. Oh yeah, I, I like have. Several new friends. Mm -hmm. I have a friend in Philadelphia. I have a friend in New Jersey. I have a friend in Dallas. I have a friend in Houston. And these are mm -hmm. people, yeah, all over the place. <laughs> these are people who are of like mind, of like mind. People you can build like with, and, 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 and people you can build with, and you know, build a future relationship with to do things. Well, Good. all of these people are people who are looking to build a better life, uh, people who want to live a better quality of life, uh, people who are creative and have ideas that they want to see their ideas grow. They want to be all that they can be. And this is not the U.S. Army. <laughs> be all you can be. That is what's up. Yeah, that, that's what's I up. mean, you, you get to be all you can be because every opportunity in the world is in front of you. And you know, yeah. If you say no to that, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Absolutely. Perfect. So my brother, Harold, appreciate your energy and appreciate you coming through and everything. And you now we're definitely going to connect and work on many things to come. So family, this is our good brother who came on the journey of a lifetime, May 2019. And we're looking forward to you and many other people to come and share the experience of a lifetime. And trust me, family, it's a game changer. Because once I started going to Africa uh, from uh, 2004 to now, last 15 years, 
that, you know, that first tour itself just put me on a path where that's all I want to do is just literally build a future in Africa. So family, let's keep it strong. 